Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about satellite signal acquisition. Okay, how this particular transmission of signal with respect to satellites as well as as well as the GPS receiver will be taken place. We are going to see now. Okay, so we have already seen the concept called C by A code or the P codes with respect to the GPS receivers and satellite communications. Right. Okay. Same will be applicable here. So. The, re the GPS receiver must find the starting time of the unique C by A code of uh, each of the four satellites. So each, each satellite will be having its unique C by A code or oh, at least one satellite C by A code is found. Okay. So automatically remaining all the satellites uh, can be connected with the uh, satellite receiver or all the satellites can be communicated with the uh, GPS receiver as well. Okay. So how the uh, starting time, how how can we find the starting time of the unique C by A code means it is done by correlating the received signal with stored C by A codes in any direct sequence fed spectrum system. Okay. So whatever the signals are receiving from the satellites. Okay. So that particular signal will be having some sort of stored C by A code. Okay. So based on that particular stored uh, C by A code in the signal, which is received by the GC, GPS receiver. Okay, we are able to uh, uh, find out which satellite we are communicating with, or uh, with what type of uh, collection of satellites we are communicating with. Okay, so the receiver will automatically select one of the four strongest signal and correlate to those. Okay, so uh, there will be several signals of a satellite which are received by the GPS receiver, right? So the basic nature of a GPS receiver is it will automatically select okay any one signal that to uh, for among all the four satellites okay any one strongest signal will be uh, it will be considering and it will be correlating with those particular satellites. If one satellite signal is uh, taken into consider, automatically remaining three satellite signals can also be achieved. Okay, so if by mistake or by default or uh, by any problem okay if the geometry of the strongest satellite is poor okay so why the geometry of the strongest satellite the geometry of the strongest satellite means uh, there might be an error uh, while receiving through G signal through the gps receiver or there can be some kind of signal loss it can be anything okay or there can be some kind of disturbance noise or interferences due to which the GPS receiver may not receives the signal sometimes. Okay. So all this comes under the geometry of the strongest satellite. Okay. So if the geometry of the strongest satellite is poor, that means when that particular uh, signal will be poor means if satellites are very, very close to each other. Okay. Or the pseudo codes or the pseudo ranges of each and every satellite, which are nearer to the each uh, other are uh, nearly equal okay the gps receiver gets confused sometimes okay and the re in sometimes as i have already said the receiver also may receive uh, weak signals okay due to any condition okay we can't say okay so this is when the satellite uh, ge geometry of its uh, strongest satellite can be poor okay so what happens then if uh, the geometry of a strongest satellite is poor okay so uh, what happens the receiver while it's starting okay it making a cold start that means it cannot establish a good signal strength okay so what happens if the receiver has can't establish a good signal strength okay we are uh, considering it as a cold start okay so if the gps receiver is making a cold start that means without proper information okay about the current position okay of that particular uh, satellites or or its own position itself okay uh, if at all it is not getting a proper uh, communication with the satellites how can it be able to find out the location of satellites or location of its own okay it won't be possible right so that is the problem occurs so what it does what is the alternate method it must search all the 37 possible c by a codes until it correlate with one okay so it will be randomly checking all the signals whatever it is receiving from the satellites uh, that particular signals will be having the c by a codes so almost 37 possible c by a codes will be 
checking and if from that it will be considering any one strongest signal or, or until it correlate with particular one okay now once the correlation is obtained once the bonding is obtained okay the data stream we can simply call it as navigation message from the satellite can be ready by the uh, uh, can be uh, ready and, and can be uh, ready to receive that particular or read that particular uh, signal by the receiver okay so it will be ready okay now this data stream what this particular data stream or the navigation message contains it contains information about the adjacent satellite what are the satellites uh, nearby that particular satellite now we are uh, once the correlation is obtained we are reading one strongest signal right uh, which satellite strongest signal we are reading by the receiver okay the adjacent satellites will be uh, adjacent satellite information will be in that particular navigation message or the data stream okay so once the signal is correlated okay so receiver no long need to search through all the 36 or 37 possible code to find the next satellite okay so it can go directly to the correct code it can go directly to the correct code okay so searching so searching all the 36 or 37 c by code out of uh, 1023 bits for uh, correlation will be a slow process okay so if at all the signal is not properly obtained okay so the searching of all the 36 and 37 uh, c by all this the correlation will be uh, considered as a so uh, slow process okay now the whole process what we have seen till now okay so it will be of for every and each and every particular satellite it will be acquired sequentially okay so most of the satellites will be or the GPS receiver will be obviously a low cost receiver. So these uh, low cost GPS receivers use sequential uh, acquisition of the satellites and also make timing measurements sequentially one satellite at a time. Okay. So whereas a sophisticated or a huge machinery or the costly satellites which are used in defense and all those kinds of mechanism. Okay. So these sophisticated receivers, GPS receiver will be having parallel correlators. Okay. The single receiver can parallelly uh, acquire the system uh, signal from the uh, couple of satellites. Okay, so that we can consider it as parallel co correlator, which can uh, acquire uh, signals from the satellites in parallel. Okay, uh, so GPS receiver used for navigation, especially these are the special GPS receiver. So the GPS receiver used for navigation of aircraft. Okay. So it can be uh, in different kinds of conditions, okay, meteorological conditions and for instrument landing as well, okay. So it can be related to defense aircrafts or high efficiency GPS receiving methods apart from global positioning system, okay. So instrument landings are required to have integrity monitoring, okay. So integrity monitoring means the exact, uh, the data might be sure and secured and it should be precise, okay. We can't take any kind of random values. Okay. So for this, we need to guard the GPS receiver against the satellite failure, interference or jamming of the GPS signal. These should be kept in mind when we are dealing with the sophisticated GPS receiver. Okay. So this whole process, uh, it's a kind of an how the satellite signal acquisition is done. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm.